Hello, greetings and salutations. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Yes, we got community access now on YouTube. So thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, and subscribed. And if you haven't, smash that subscribe button. I'm always going to cover Eyeless, CYBL. We're going to do our bourbons of the week. I have another bourbon tomorrow, Eagle Rare. It's our 10th bourbon. And then I'm going to do the top three that I've covered. Who should the cheers of the week be? I would like to know. I think I already know who it's going to be, but leave that in the comment section down below. So let's get into this Eyeless filing the form 10 yes here it is the company has filed its form 10 with the sec let's get into this quote from jp backwell we are pleased to confirm the filing of our form 10 today which provides detailed and audited information about our company's operations including an overview of our business strategies risk factors financial statements and further information our ongoing obligation to file with the SEC in a timely manner will help current and new investors make more informed and educated investment decisions about our company. This is an important and essential step in our commitment to provide our investors with further transparency and accountability. If there's one thing I could say about ILIS, they've been very, very transparent, transparent and they've been very accessible. All right, let's go on to this. Shareholders and interested parties are urged to read the filed, uh, the filed Form 10. I'm going to put that down in the description below. It's 60 plus pages. Take your time with it. Read it through. I'm going to be spending this weekend really combing through it. And uh, I really want to digress and understand as a shareholder. Because as a shareholder who has tens of thousands invested in this company, I want to understand what's on this Form 10. That's just responsibility. If you're just investing blindly, shame on you. Do the DD. And I'm going to put that in the link below. So read it. All right. There's no audible version. You just got to put your eyes on the page and read the damn thing. <laughs> I'm not lecturing you, man. I sound like I'm lecturing. I'm not. I just want what's best for you. So make sure you read this. All right. Let's take a look at these uh, highlights. Audited revenues for the year ended uh, 2021 of $11.2 million. That was only their first year since taking over for uh, from prior management. That's unbelievable. All right. 19.6 uh, net revenue in the second quarter alone of this year. A complete statement of business operations included, but not limited to organizational structure, operating companies, subsidiaries, details of acquisitions, and risk factors, financial information, properties, and security ownership. Profile of directors, officers, executive contracts, and compensation. Financial statements filed with the auditor's consent and exhibits. This is full 100% transparency. And like I said, these guys have been transparent from the get-go. Once the filing is effective, ILIS will be subject to the full reporting requirements of the SEC. This means the company will begin to file uh, their, their uh, 10Ks, or annual reports, or quarterly reports, and their periodic reports. Um, the company is also going to be subject to additional reporting obligations related to proxies, shareholder actions, and stock ownership rules. Um, a lot of these things will protect shareholders. And you guys got to remember that this, this is a benefit to us. This is going to benefit the shareholder, as well as the company. All right, the Form 10... Uh, will have automatic effect 60 days after filing, following which the company plans to change its registered name and apply to OTC markets to uplist from the OTC pink market to the OTC QB. And let's take a look at this quote here from Nick Link. As a company with over 40,000 current shareholders, as confirmed by the Noble List, and which is already delivering exponential growth, the filing of our Form 10 and the events to follow as a result all form part of ILIS delivering on its conglomerate plan, whereby a solid foundation of reliable operations, financial stability, and ongoing transparency serve as the springboard for our even greater and completely unrivaled growth. Once this recession turns around, once inflation gets under control, once the market sentiment is back, um, these guys are setting themselves up for success. The overall valuation of this company and the share price do not line up right now. That's just the truth. And so stay positive during this time. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not making price predictions, but you know, I know people, they bought at 20 cents, at 30 cents, and it's easy during a recession to just give it up. Don't give up, just keep on keeping on because there are brighter days ahead. And if there's one company that's setting themselves up for complete success after this inflationary period is over, after this recession has kicked the crap out of us, you know, it's this company, it's Eyeless International. Remember, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing my passions with you. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember, there's more that binds us than breaks us. You guys have a great night. Peace.